Welcome, welcome back, my power sisters. Dr. Anita here, founder and CEO of Power Her Success Alliance, where we are all about helping you become a powerful woman, helping all of us as women become powerful in who we are in our sisterhood as we change ourselves, our family, our community, and the world. I am so excited to introduce you to yet another one of our amazing experts who's writing in our book, Power Her Success, to help you get a deeper understanding of why now is the time for every woman on this planet to own her power like never before. And I'm especially excited because I get to introduce you to Lori Shin, who's not only a sister, a deep friend, she's also one of my business partners. She is the director of our member service for the I'm. I almost said I am enough. That's an old business. That's so funny. Of Power Her Success Alliance. She is a part of our team and helping us do some amazing things with corporations around the world as we help women and as we help men because we're launching our Leading Man Institute. We're just doing some amazing things here at the Alliance. You just need to be a part of it. And when you join us, you will definitely meet Lori because she'll be the person who will help you guide through all the amazing things that we're doing as Alliance. But that's coming up next year so stay tuned so with that being said i definitely want Lori to kind of introduce herself tell you who she is she's a kind of a big deal and i love that because that's one of her um phrases that she uses on a regular basis and it's also her chapter in the book you're kind of a big deal um wake wake up wildflower and take the center stage <laughs> this is all about Lori's heart her soul and her spirit so Lori. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here with me as we talk about Power Her Success. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. And hi, Dr. <laughs> Anita. Um, I am so thrilled, honored, and I feel blessed to be a part of this wonderful, wonderful alliance. I mean, we are we're, we are going to change the world. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's my pleasure to be here with you. See, what I love about Lori is Lori has such a really big heart to serve. She has a heart to really empower. She has a heart to move women from any place of where they're stuck in their body, soul, and spirit to this level of evolution in who she is. And you can tell, you'll hear this in her voice, you'll hear this in her speech. You'll see this in her heart as it comes through in her story. And this is why Lori is, so we met, actually, let me tell you the story about how Lori and I met. We met three, four years ago? It's about three years ago, because yeah, I moved about, here about three years ago. I think it was 2017. No, nine, 19, because... Was it 19? Okay, so it's 2019. I'm getting my years mixed up. So 2019, I had the opportunity to speak at a women's event out in uh, Portland, Oregon. That was an ordeal. Um, it was an amazing experience for me, but once I got there, um, I got a chance to get on stage and I shared my ordeal on stage and it was, I guess, very moving because I got a lot of responses from it. And Lori came up and introduced herself and I instantly, you know, those women you meet and you just know there's somehow you just know you're supposed to be connected to this person. You're supposed to have them in your life and you be in their life. Lori was one of those individuals and um, it took a while for us to kind of circle back. But once we came in, I instantly go, yeah, there's something about this woman. And she has proven to be a girlfriend's girlfriend. Like she's truly is a friend that you can trust, that you can rely on. Um, she's every meeting we have for the team. She's there every breakfast we have. She's there every dinner that we have. She's there supporting and encouraging. And, and don't let her little quietness fool you. Miss Lori's a little hot mama. She's got us laughing on multiple levels because she has such a big heart. And um, I know you're going to love her chapter. So Lori, tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Well, there's a lot to tell, but I will do it in a quick minute or less. Um, I My background is art. I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts. Um, I also am a Jill of, of many talents. Um, I, uh, have, I went to graduate school for training and development and instructional design so I can write curriculum. But the thing of it is, is I have a spirit of service and I know that each of those people who are hearing and listening, especially the way Dr. Anita has described me, and I feel the same way as her, I my heart just 
soared when I got to meet her because she has come from so many obstacles <laughs> that have been put roadblocks, really, like major roadblocks. And she has come out just shining, happy, grateful for all of those things. And I never hear her say a negative word about anyone. And that <laughs> is just, I not to. <laughs> Thank you it's just really, she really personifies and embodies a leader that really, really wants to see people change without kicking their, you know, sometimes she just says, she gives me a little bit of kick in the, you know, rear end and stuff, but, but, but it's really, really all done with love. And because she knows there is more of you and more that you can give to the world. So yeah, it's I'm blushing right now. I know you can't see it, but I am you know, like, wow, thank you so much, Lori. And it's just a, a reflection of who we are together. I see you, you see me. And for such a time as this, this is where this is what happens when women come together and say, it's not about you, it's not about me, it's about us together. And you still get the benefit with all of us together. And that's really what you're talking about. So I'm truly humbled that you see me in that way. And I see you that way as well. So thank you so much. Tell them more because I know there's a lot more of Lori that she's not telling you. Well, I mean, I've I've done a lot of work in embodiment work. Yes. Um, I also am, uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about that because when we embody our creativity and our spirit and our purpose for being here, I mean, yes. it's just, there's something that providence moves and and the divine moves us and we can be more of ourselves. We just need to be fully self-expressed. Yes. And that comes from um, working with somebody who I studied coaching with, who many people will know, Debbie Ford and the Ford Institute, and learning about shadow work, learning about archetypes, and that we are all that is, you know, the good and the bad, the alpha and the omega, as well as how can we celebrate all of who we are? Yeah. And, and even, you know, the, the heart, because I've had some hard, hard times, especially of late. And how can I be grateful for those things? How can I be totally in a place of surrender? And that's not like give up. Surrender is like, okay, yeah. spirit, what do you have for me to do? in honor of my spirit of service. Yes. And I have to admit, you know, all of us have gone through things because of this pandemic and all of us have had these challenges and the people who've gone through these challenges and have been able to go through it with grace, with beauty, with elegance, with humility, and who are able to learn from their experiences and come back and serve that, Lori has definitely been one of those individuals. And I know that's something that's on my heart. And I, by no means am I perfect in any, in any means. I don't think any of us would ever claim that we're perfect. We're always evolving into being more of who we believe God has called us to be. God, source, spirit, prophets, whichever word works for you. I tend to like the word God. And, and we honor, we're, we're kind of an interfaith company, um, Power Success Alliance, because we want all women of all backgrounds, of all ethnicities of all socioeconomic backgrounds with all faith to come together and say if if we hold each other up together there's so much more we can do and I have always been the psychologist who's looked at people especially in the entrepreneurial world I've been fascinated by it that so many women are doing things alone but yet there's so much you can do when you join a community so when Lori and all these other women, we came together to build the alliance, the alliance is moving really fast. And I know it's not because of just me, I know it's because of who we are collectively together. And so what Lori is talking about and just her heart and her passion to help more women do this is what we're all about. And now you've got experts like her, you've got leaders like her, you've got leaders like all the women who are part of this book to help you make this a reality for your life every single day. So with that being said, Lori, let's talk about um, power. You know, that's my favorite word. <laughs> so let's talk about power. What is power and why should a woman be, you know, focused on being a powerful woman? 
Well, I think for me, I hear the word power and I think of David Hawkins and Power Versus Force, the book that he wrote. Yeah. The thing is, power doesn't have to be forceful. Mm-hmm. Power can be very subtle and and very feminine. And we, as, as powerful women, can be strong and we can be vulnerable. Yes. So power to me is owning who you are at all levels. Yeah. And why is that so important for a woman to own who she are, who she is, who she are, who she is? Um, you said earlier on, you know, the good and the bad. And I'm going to say the good, the bad, the ugly, the traumatic, the parts that you thought you would never come back from, those experiences are probably the best experiences that you could ever happen. So why would it be important for a woman to understand that part as part of her power? Uh, well, I... I look at um, one of my heroes, Joseph Campbell, and his discussion of the hero's journey or the monument, where you have the calling. If you didn't have the calling for something in your life, or you just submerged it or suppressed it or denied it, there is something there that is going to, it's, it's the shadow. It's going to come bearing gifts whether you go ahead and keep denying it or you go ahead and say, yes, I'm going to do this. I am going to be all I can be. So, you know, I really believe that power really represents all of who you are, all of who I am, because I am I'm all that is. And and so are you, Dr. Anita. And so are those people listening. And I believe until you embrace all of who you are, the, the creative part that you've been suppressing or the intuitive part that you say, yeah. you know, I mean, one of the things I didn't say is that I am a celebrant or I'm an officiant of weddings. And a lot of that came out of a, a deep, deep pain. And if I didn't, if I would have ignored what spirit was telling me, um, I would not be doing what I'm doing. And I get to be around people who are in love and I get to help them stay in love too. And, you know, okay. So there's a couple of things that Lori said here that I think are so important for us to have a conversation around. One is really understanding what she's talking about from Dr. Um, Joseph Campbell. She's talking about the heroines or the hero's journey. And his daughter, I think, wrote The Heroine's Journey. And there are 13 steps that someone actually goes through in order to become their best version of who God created them to be. Kind of related to even that poem that I don't know how to quote. I wish I had it right now by Mary M. Williamson. Mm-hmm. She's talking about our greatest fear. And it's, it's really about um, you allowing your light to show forward because you're a child of God in the most powerful and glorious way. And this journey that every one of us, every single person on this planet will go through this journey. You can't help it. Particularly those of you who feel you have a call, you have a purpose that you're here to make a difference in the lives of others. If you have any kind of inclination on the inside that you're created for that, you're going to go on this journey. And what this journey does is it takes you down deep into this cave. This cave is that dark, um, painful. It's almost usually some sort of a traumatic event happens in your life that helps you, um, one, break down. (laughs) And another way is surrender. And like Laura was saying, it's not about giving up it's about trusting from my humble perspective it's about having faith in god having faith in yourself and letting go of control that was the hardest thing particularly for those of us who've gone through any kind of maybe major mental emotional or sexual abuse trauma any kind of trauma like that where we've not felt safe we tend to hold on unconsciously a lot tighter because that's our way of having control So when Lori is telling you and I'm telling you and all the speakers are telling you that your power rests in you going through this journey so that you can actually, it's almost like a butterfly, go into the cocoon, go through this metamorphosis process so that you can come out of the shell, which is a painful process, by the way. But once you come out of it, you show up like this glorious, beautiful, uh, amazing, vibrant, colorful butterfly. 
that just flutters around the world free to fulfill its destiny. And so that's what Lori and I are talking about. That's what we want you to have is to go through the journey, but see every bit of the journey, the good, the bad, the ugly, the traumatic as valuable. Because I promise you this, the moment you say it's valuable, it becomes valuable. And then the world, your outside experiences will follow your lead. Now, if you say it's terrible, guess what? That's exactly what it's going to be. So part of you, this is what really activated the whole idea of the Power of Success Alliance is it happened right around the pandemic. And I started to see everybody go bonkers <laughs> from my personal opinion. And they were feeling like they were losing control and losing their God-given power that's inside every single one of us. We were getting so focused on the fear that we were forgetting that we were powerful. And that fear was taking over more so than the power who God created us to be. And that's what made me go, oh no, we're gonna talk about you. No matter what's happening out here, you're still a powerful person. You're designed that way. Come back, come back to center, come back to truth, come back to the revelation of who you are so that you can move forward out of this traumatic event. I just had a little soap opera there, but I had to say it, Lord, because you opened up the door so beautifully. And you know, now we're here having this conversation to continue calling you into your power. Call. So Lori, what happens when a woman makes a decision? You know, that's my favorite word, is decision to reach a definite conclusion. So once a woman makes a decision to step into and own and claim and live in her power, how does this change her life? How does this benefit her? I believe that she creates a sovereignty of her own that's where cool. nothing is going to shake that. And of course, there are things that you can do like daily practices that will keep you on your toes and in balance. And like you said, Dr. Anita, in your center, it, that may be prayer, it may be meditation, it may be writing, it may be doing some sort of rite of passage. Whatever that is, that is something that is going to strengthen that sovereignty. You know, I, I think you're the first person who brought that up in all of our conversations so far. And I love it because it's so connected to your sovereignty, I think is so connected to your queenship. So let's talk about sovereignty, queenship, and power. Why are all those essential right now? If you can't, right. I guess this is a question she wasn't expecting, so. <laughs> oh, no, <it's, clears throat> excuse so me. You, <laughs> um, I, you know what? It, it's really essential right now because right now we're seeing a lot of in in the U.S. We're seeing a lot of women's rights um, just kind of disappear. Yeah, and you know, I take it very personally. May and I'll tell you more about that some other time. But but because I really believe that women are the answer, and I believe women of color are the answer because they need to vote and they're going to make the difference. So I'm I'm thrilled and excited to see any woman who does take their sovereignty, their queenship, their royalty yes, yes. In, into into really really embody it because when when I walk around and I'm just, I love to walk in my neighborhood. I, and I just, if I walk with a certain amount of maybe a little bit of swagger, maybe I've got some, you know, some music that's, that's making me feel like a, like a, like a queen or just like a badass, you know, that's, <laughs> that is it, people, people respond to your energy. They do. Yes, they do. Absolutely. And that's, again, this is one of the reasons why we're having this conversation is because we know we've gone through our own journey to finally own our own power, to finally own our sovereignty, to finally step into and own and claim our queenship. And it doesn't have to come from a place of aggression. It can come from a place of assertiveness, but it doesn't have to come from a place of aggression. And we don't have to have an attitude with it. it it's just it's just a power of knowing, that's how I think of it. Like when you really know something, you can just sit there and people will see that power when you walk in the room. 
They'll respond to it just because you showed up. You didn't even open your mouth. You're just standing there looking all cute and owning your queenship. The next thing you know, people do things for you or say things to you or give you things just because you're showing up in your power. And here's the beautiful thing. If you're in your power for your personal life where you really don't have to show it out to the world, the world is going to sense it and people are going to respond to it. And the next thing you know, you've got opportunities. You're like, how did that opportunity show up? And someone says, I saw you online. That doesn't mean they talked to me. That doesn't mean that they talked to us. They just saw the power of us online. And that moved them to offer whatever opportunity or invite us to be a part of whatever they're doing just because we're showing up. And this goes so in alignment with Lori's chapter, because again, she's talking about the wild, you know, you're a big deal, one, first and foremost. And the women who tend to hide in the back, this is where I think Lori is going to really powerfully help you if you decide to coach with her, and I recommend that you do. For those women who have, have settled for less, for those women who have said, oh, I just feel comfortable being in the background, but yet there's a pull, there's something in you that says, I know I'm supposed to be in front, I just don't know how to be in front, so I'm going to stay in the back and I'm going to be in a place of service, and please hear me when I say, there's nothing wrong with that. If you have peace about that and you are, are fulfilled in that, then that's where your power is. But the woman that knows, and I think there are more women who know that she's called to something great. She's called to take center stage and she hasn't been doing it. I say that because even me lovingly holding Lori accountable and going, I kind of think you're, you're supposed to be up front a little bit more. How do we make this happen? What do you need to do to pull this forward because she knows I will pull you forward. I, I just, I just, that's just my personality. <laughs> I do it lovingly. I really do. But I, I hold you accountable to your greatness because that's what I'm on this planet to do is to find the ones who've got hidden talents and going, I know it's in there. I see it because my spirit's responding to the power inside you. And it knows it's like, you know, five feet behind you. And yet I can see it so clearly and say, okay, come here. No one else is giving you permission to show up. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to create the platforms. I'm going to create the opportunities. I'm going to give you a voice because I know you have a voice. Does, does that make sense? So mm -hmm. let's talk about your chapter of how to help someone become a big deal. Why is being a big deal so crucial right now? And um, well, what does it mean? Why is it important? And then talk about your chapter. Well, I really believe that everybody can be a big deal, <laughs> first off. And I don't mean a big deal as, you know, being a jerk. Oh, <laughs> because <right>. there, are, <laughs> there are lots of people who can do that. But but if you are being all of who you are and you're embodying all of who you are, your creativity, your intuition, your strength, your vulnerability, then that is a big deal because you give yourself as well as other people permission to do that. Yes. Now, I love I love to sing. So does Dr. Anita. Very true. <laughs> and maybe we're yeah. going to have to find something where I can harmonize yeah. and, and stuff. But I, I mean, I used to sing when I was uh, living in Colorado with some guys and I enjoyed it. I don't mind being in the background, but I know that I'm also supposed to be here giving you a message that you have permission, yes. you have a spark that nobody else has. And unless you give that away, it's going to be kind of hidden. You know, you're just going to be a wallflower. So why not now? Because now is the time. Yes. We need you more than ever right now. Uh, right now is the time for the divine feminine to really show up in a much more powerful and dynamic way. And, you know, she's telling you all these things. If you can own your voice, own your intuition, embody this. I want to add in there, you can own your desire to be all that you desire to be. You can be that queen. You can be wealthy. You can be abundant. You can be rich. By the way, if you have any desire for that, you are created for it. It is in your DNA, in your spiritual DNA, in your physical DNA, and I can prove it. It's in you 
already to be that somewhere along the life along your lifeline you may have had experiences that have told you otherwise well we're here Lori and i are here and all the authors of this book and everybody within the alliance to tell you no 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 sweetheart we're, we're going to be your girlfriends that like girl please come on let's go you got this we can get you to another level you can have anything you want i am a firm believer you can have anything you want i talk it i walk it i live it i speak it i breathe it i dream it i dream it a lot um, on a regular basis, have I always? No. It's always been sitting there. And like Laurie has said, we've both gone through hell and back. And sometimes you have to in order for the diamond in the coal to really show up in the value and the beauty of who it is. You know, diamonds go through a lot of pressure to become a diamond. They get squeezed really hard and burned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> to end up <clears throat> showing up in its brilliance. And I believe if there's ever been a time for us as women to show up in our brilliance, to show up in our beauty, in our femininity, in our sensuality, in our sexuality, in our power, in our, in our power, our purpose, our, um, all of a sudden I just went blank on my own stuff, power, purpose, position, prosperity, now is the time to do it. Right now is the time to do it. Laurie, if there's anything else you want, any passing wisdom that you want to leave before we end our time together, what would that be? What would be the last thing you would tell every woman who needs to hear your voice? I want to give people like three things that they can absolutely. do absolutely right now. Something that you have wanted to do, but you haven't done, and you've just put it on the back burner. I want you to take this week and go ahead and write it down. First off, write it down. Yeah. Make a plan as to what action, habit, or belief you need to make that happen. Yes. And then a date that you are going to make that happen. Yeah. Put in your calendar and then just go ahead. And like, like Nike says, and since I'm in Oregon, <laughs> just do it. <laughs> just do it and i'm going to add on to that because i actually think that i believe i'm a firm believer that you weren't designed to live life and do it by yourself you weren't created by yourself you weren't designed to do it by yourself you've got to find your inner circle you've got to find your team some, someone to hold you accountable this is why the alliance has been created this is why our membership is coming forward so that you have someone to hold you accountable to this so if for some reason you really feel like i need help i don't know these are some big goals and dreams and i just need help doing it i want you to reach out to Lori. I want you to actually reach out to Lori and hire her to work with you and hold you accountable to making this happen. I want you to reach out to every single um, person that's going to be a part of this book and or part of the Alliance because we've gone through the journey. We know what it takes to show up and we're still growing and evolving and healing and making decisions to show up in our lives. Um, and they can't help it because they're around me and I, I, I go big. I just can't, I can't help it. I don't know how to not to. At the same time, I also do know how to, if that makes any sense. And um, we just love you. We love you so much. And we believe in you probably more than you believe in yourself. And we're here to create the space and the, and the place and the environment to help you blossom and becoming the woman that you were designed to be. Lori, if, they, if our beautiful audience wanted to get a hold of you outside of what you're writing in the chapter and her bio is there, you can connect to her there in the book. The book is called um, Power Her Success. It's going to be launched on September the 27th. You'll be able to get it. We definitely want you to read it so that you can be inspired. Lori, how can they reach you if they wanted to connect? You can connect with me online at, on Facebook at the Everyday Shop. Well, Facebook.com forward slash the Everyday Shaman. Or you can connect with me at Lori at laurieshin.com. Right now I'm working on my website again. <laughs> and um, I want to just say that Dr. Anita and all of the other people that I have met and I'm honored to work with with the Alliance are a community that you will really want to tap into. They are they are people who who really hold you to accountable accountability and they want to have your back and they want to know to let you know that you really are a big deal you really are a big deal i'll say that my so i grew up without you know we've got i have brothers and sisters 
but my family is very far apart, very distant. So I have this deep intrinsic need. Um, I'm an extrovert, I'm an ambivert. I'm very much more extrovert than I am introvert, but I really float between the two. But I really lean on more of the extroverted side. So I have a very strong passion for community, for connection, for relationship, for intimacy. And I also understand it from a very strong spiritual perspective, um, having a background as a Christian, being raised in church, um, coming out of religion and really standing in spirituality and just knowing that when you are in relationship with God, source spirit, yourself and other people who are like-minded with you, success is imminent. It is guaranteed. So this is why the Alliance is being created to ensure, I'm gonna be bold enough to say, if you stick with us for one whole year, you get involved, you participate in the things that we're doing for you, whether it's a webinar, whether it's an actual program, whether it's an event, a virtual event or a live event, if you show up and participate, I'm gonna be bold enough to say in 365 days, your life will be never will be the same. Laurie, you've been with me for a year. Can you say your life is the same? Uh, no, it's, I mean, it's, it's amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, the support is huge. And a, a, a wonderful woman who you might know named Alanis Morissette, when I went to an, an event that she was also a part of, she she also studied with Debbie Ford too. Mm -hmm. She said, build your real authentic support system as big as you can, because it's going to help you throughout your whole life. And that's what I believe the Alliance is going to do. Yes. And stay tuned. You'll, you'll be changed. You'll be changed in a positive way. And, and, you know, we want you to also know that we are, what I love about Lori and our team is that it's not just about us and what we've gone through and what we've learned. These are women who are actually spending time in prayer and meditation. Like they have each member of our executive team has taken a day where we're praying and meditating and sitting with spirit and lighting candles and clearing energy and doing what we know works to help you as a woman stay in power. Now, don't you wanna be a part of a sisterhood that says, oh honey, you stay with us, your life will never be the same again. You will never be in a negative relationship. Now, the beautiful thing, the, the, well, we'll say this, your life will change if you choose to participate in the change. If you choose not to, we will lovingly watch you from a distance and go, we'll be here when you're ready to come back and get in alignment because we're always going to create a space for you to come back and get in alignment and have that connection with other people who can help you move to this next level. Miss Lori, I love you. You know that. Thank you so much for your time, your energy, your wisdom, your heart, your passion. Um, it always makes me smile. I, I keep forgetting that you and I have a singing background. We are going to have to connect to see what, what we can do together. It's been a while since I've sang, but I used to be a part of bands too. I've done that for years. Um, a lot of people don't know that. But anyways, with so much love for each and every one of you power sisters, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Lori, for your wisdom. And we will see you next time. God bless. Take care of all of you. Bye, everybody.